Does the Oculus Quest 1 or 2 need a PC to use? Well, the short answer is no. You only need a mobile device like a phone to set up and use your Oculus Quest. But there are a lot of cool things that you can do with any computer, ranging from a regular old laptop all the way up to advanced gaming rigs. One of the cool things that you can do, however, is smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. But in all seriousness, I'm going to explain to you two of the main ways that you can use a computer to improve your VR experiences on the Quest. The Oculus Store of Games has extremely stringent requirements that developers have to follow in order to get their games on the Oculus Store. These requirements result in us having a selection of games knowing that all of them are going to be at least a minimum level of quality. But these requirements can prevent developers from getting their games on the store even if they have really good games. For example, this is Crisis Brigade, probably one of the funnest and most challenging arcade games I have ever played on the Quest. It is available to buy from Steam, but it got rejected from the Oculus Store. This means that all of the work the developers put in to port the game to the Quest would have been wasted if it wasn't for a platform like SideQuest. You see, SideQuest is a library of games that were made for the Quest that aren't on the Oculus Store. These games and experiences on SideQuest are either demos, beta releases, or full games that simply got rejected from the Oculus Store. Almost all of the games and experiences are free, so if you're on a budget and want to try new things, you should definitely check out the games on SideQuest. Side loading with SideQuest can be done with pretty much any PC. It doesn't have to be a gaming computer. It just requires a few steps to set everything up, and so I'll link a video in the description that explains exactly how to do it. But once you do have it set it up, side loading games is extremely easy. Side loading, by the way, is a term used for loading games onto the Quest indirectly from other sources outside of the official Oculus Store. Some games that you should check out on SideQuest besides Crisis Brigade include Attack on Quest, which is a fan game inspired by the anime Attack on Titan, T for God, a roguelite shooter that uses non-Euclidean space to expand your play space, and Lambda 1 VR, which is a mod for the original Half-Life game, turning it into a full VR experience. There are plenty of other awesome games, but these are some of my favorites. Beyond just games and experiences, SideQuest also offers a variety of tools to modify and improve your VR experience. You can use SideQuest to change the refresh rate, resolution, video capture size, video capture frame rate, and so much more. All of these changes are harmless to your headset as they all reset every time you reboot the headset, and they can be useful to improve your experience. I mostly use it to allow me to record 60 frames per second, but there are plenty of settings that you can mess with to really customize your experience on Quest. You can also use SideQuest to back up game data or transfer it to another headset. This doesn't work with all games. I found out it doesn't work with Lies Beneath, unfortunately, but for some other games, it does work and it's really nice if you don't want to lose your game progress when uninstalling a game. Also, for those of you wondering, no, SideQuest is not against the terms of service and no, it won't get you into trouble with Facebook. It is perfectly safe to do and between all the free games and awesome tools that it provides, there really isn't a good reason for it to not be on your PC all already. The main way I use my PC with the Quest is with Virtual Desktop. Virtual Desktop is an app that you can purchase on the Oculus Store that connects your headset to the PC. It allows you to view and control your PC through the headset, allowing you to watch movies, use your PC for work, or even play PC VR games wirelessly. For watching movies or just controlling your PC for work, you don't need a fancy gaming computer. Any computer will work as long as you have a decent wireless connection to the PC. To play PC VR games, the main reason that people use Virtual Desktop, you do need a gaming computer with at least a GTX 1060 graphics card or higher. If you're not sure if your computer can run PC VR games, there's a free test that I'll link to on Steam that you can download and run to see if your computer can handle VR. If your computer can play PC VR games, you have the option of using Oculus Link or Virtual Desktop to play games. I prefer Virtual Desktop as it keeps the Quest wireless and it works just as good as Link with a good connection. It takes a little bit of extra work to set up, but it is much better playing games wirelessly. Beyond just playing games, Virtual Desktop also makes it super easy to control your PC in VR. This is especially useful for me when I'm streaming and need to pause the stream or change an overlay or something. 
Again, you do need a decent gaming computer for this to work, so if you don't have a decent computer, stick with SideQuest and the Oculus Store for now. Don't worry, you're not missing out on too much as there's plenty of amazing games being offered on the Quest that don't require a PC. But if you do have a gaming rig and want to try setting up Virtual Desktop, I'm going to link a video here in the corner and down below that I made that explains exactly how to get the best connection with Virtual Desktop and how to modify the settings to get the best experience. So if you're interested in virtual desktop, definitely check that video out. If you're still here, thank you for watching till the end of the video. I hope it helped you. And if you want more quality VR information and entertainment, make sure you subscribe and join our growing community. But anyways, that's it. I'm out.